Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Let's look at f of x equals cosecant of x. I want you to write that in terms of sines and or cosines at your desk and use the quotient rule to find the derivative. So thinking of f of x as 1 over sine of x, finding the derivative using the quotient rule, bottom is sine x, the derivative of the top is what? 0. d dx of 1 is 0. So I'm going to just say 0 minus the top, which is 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which is d dx of sine was cosine. So we're going to have times cosine of x and then over sine squared, the bottom squared. Okay, so this term goes away and we just have negative cosine of x over sine squared of x. Now there's nothing saying that that, that can't be the derivative, but what we're going to memorize is a different version where it was broken up like this. Cosine of x over sine of x times 1 over sine of x. So what would that be? Negative cotangent of x times cosecant of x. So these are the four new derivatives for trig functions that we see in our textbook. So we're going to have derivative of tangent is secant squared x, derivative of secant is secant x tangent x, derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared x, derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. The way that we write them is one of the easier ways to memorize them. If you'll notice that the tangent and secant derivatives are related, right? And the cotangents and cosecants are related. So this is how we came to use these forms of the derivative. I also want to add something to this page, which is the two uh, trig functions that we already learned. The derivative with respect to x of sine of x is equal to cosine of x and the derivative with respect to x of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Notice one thing to help you memorize these is that all of the co-function derivatives are negative. Cotangent, cosecant, and cosine all have negative derivatives. Whereas tangent, secant, and sine that are, do not have the co, they all have positive derivatives. So that will just help you to remember co-functions have negative derivatives. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.